himself X and you still are back with him? Yes, you kids babe. never learn. You see, you need to be my friend you more. Kids never like, learn. <laughs> kids never my learn. Closest friend. We'll check in on you. <laughs> we'll check in. No, we'll give it what? Six six months? Nine months? Yeah, we'll check in on you. Alright. And <laughs> Nikki, we'll see. Nikki hey. was like, Nikki was like, I give you three months. So yeah, be we'll, back. Check, <laughs> we'll check back in on you. So how's that going with the uh, ex-boyfriend thing? Oh man, that fool. <laughs> That fool then tried to burn the kitchen down, dog. Nah, I had to tell him to kick it to the curb because he was tripping, straight up tripping, exactly. <laughs> That's why you don't do it. So getting back together with your ex is like going back and getting a second root canal. Like, why would you need to do that? Like, you already <laughs> then been through that terror. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, oh, man. <laughs> You just you, you just got dick lonely. You was like, you know what? Uh, it was kind of good with him because he kind of understood me. Mm. Anyway, it is the Ace Michael Show. Uh, we are definitely advocating do not get back together with your ex. That is my philosophy. Keep that stuff moving. Uh, anyway, that's what it is. Hey, if you ever want to be on the show, by the way, you can. All you have to do is call. You can call 702 5 Four zero three four nine eight, or you can email man you too much of a plan to pick up the phone I understand just email us you can email us beyond the buzz at yahoo.com today my guest is a fabulous beauty queen from a movie scene so me what do you mean I am the one Woo! not bad for an old guy anyway uh anna masters is here on the show today and she is holding a beauty title which is the miss and the boar um um oh my goodness <laughs> miss latina and the boar nevada 2017. that's a good title yes what does all that mean though like what is what um, did you, what, did, what well okay this organization um is uh Founded and directed by my manager, Andre Haynes. Uh, and there's nothing weird about you winning the pageant that your manager actually runs. No, he's actually, I'm actually signing up right now with him <laughs> as a model. So he actually managed, he's a PR. He's really, really seriously managing you. Yes. And this is a real serious competition. Yes. One is not necessarily no. married to the other. I actually There's no I asked, Trumpism going on here. No. Okay. <laughs> I actually asked him uh, that I was concerned that I want to pursue more modeling, and uh, and I and I also communicated with him mm. my you know my dreams and my hopes. So pretty much what the organization does is empower women and bring endeavors to life. So pretty much I'm in the right place with the right organization. Anna, you're so damn fine though. How could you mean <laughs> pursue more modeling? Like I would think a girl that looks as good as you would be getting modeling offers as often as a damn you wash your hands. You know what I mean? Like I, I, it seems like people, aren't you the kind of girl like people drive down the street and they slow down when they see you walking and then the passenger <laughs> just like, hey, 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 holla, holla at me. No, I'm working on projects right now that are perfect for you. <laughs> I, it has happened to me many times. Guys be coming up with you. Be like, hey, you look like a singer. <laughs> Here's my car. Right. Call me. 
I got a if joke you, for you. If you can't dance, don't worry about it, because we got a choreographer. We'll teach you. <laughs> if you don't got it, we got it. Yeah, hey, don't worry about it. Just call me. Call me. Goes around the corner, comes back. Call me. You ain't called me yet. Let me get your number. I'll call you. <laughs> So you give me your number. Yeah. Give me my Just give me the area code. I'll look it up. <laughs> I can get the rest of it. It's crazy. So crazy. But no, you're you're super good looking. I mean, Thank super you. hot. What? Well, the thing is that in this industry, a lot of people want to work with me, but they do not want to pay. So I have to. And have... that. Hold on. Let me just. <laughs> Let me just, just for clarity, y'all, that is not working with somebody. If you're working with somebody and you can't pay them, that's not working. That's like doing it like a, a hobby or something. Mm -hmm. And people are professionals. They uh, they expect to get paid for what they do. So yes. if you're a professional. So yeah. I, I, have, I have no understanding of why this is happening. You're because someone that. obviously gets paid, but it's not me. So I'm like, I decided huh. to, you know, pursue different direction and have a representation because in that way that person can actually take me to the right places so and that's how it works now you are in great uh, people can't see the whole thing should i even do it i'm gonna do it okay so <laughs> here's what's going on y'all okay this is how it works right here okay so you are in great physical shape Thank like you. you're, you're fabulous Thank you for um that. so you obviously you work out a lot right and so how much of your day is working out? Like, do you do like a two hour day workout or? Yes, I actually work out six times a week. Sometimes I work out seven times I didn't times know there was that many days in a week. Are you serious? Yes. Six times a week. I'm trying to do the math on that. Yes. Wow. And I work out between an hour to an hour and a half. Uh, and sometimes you... I go twice a day. What? What are you if doing I'm for all that time? <laughs> There's only it's like so many machines. What do you do? Like each machine for 20 minutes or something? What are you doing? Uh, I just uh, work different groups, uh, muscle groups each day. So, and if I go twice a, a, <laughs> a day, I, let's say the one day I, I did twice. So, in the morning, I went and did some cardio. And then I went and did uh, bicep and triceps only. And then focus on four different uh, exercises in that particular area. Then at night time, you know, I'm like, oh, I'm bored, you know, I, I, I don't want to do nothing. I mean, I'm bored, I don't want to be home. So I'm like, oh, let's go to the gym. Go to the gym, and then I do uh, another muscle groups. I do probably squats, you know, and then do more leg, and do focus on the uh, lower body. That's how you know people who work out for real, like they're doing <laughs> it for real. When they talk about muscle groups, most of us just thought we had like a muscle or two somewhere, you know, like. <laughs> It's like most guys got a six pack. I got a two liter. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey man, I think I developed an ab over here. Check, check me up. Do is it an ab? Is it okay? It's part of an ab. It's getting there. Um, so do you, so do you also train people? Do you work out and train people? Too? I also train people. Uh, my most dedicated client is a pastor, Pastor oh, wow. Sam Stewart, nice. and he's the founder of Club His Hub. He's awesome. Very dedicated. I have to wake up at 3.15 in the morning so I can Ooh. train him. <laughs> Are you a tough trainer? Are you tough on the pastor? Um, no, I, I, everyone is different. So he's a pastor. I have a lot of respect for him. So I'm, I don't babysit, but mm -hmm. I, you know, I talk to him like, well, this is what we're going to do today. And then, you know, we just go through and then I just walk him through it. And if he's doing it wrong, then I position him in the right position and then I show him how it's done. Or I put myself in the machine and then do it myself, and then you know. It seems like it'd be hard to train a pastor though. Like you'd be like, I know. I thought that you're, you're not gonna get your muscle groups tone. He's like, you're not gonna get into heaven. So that's what it is. So you figure that out which one you want to do. You want to lean over a little okay. harder. You want to go see Jesus. Okay, thank you. Uh, that's funny. So you, so you, <laughs> you train the pastor. Yeah. Um, and then, so while you're doing that, you're still also a model independently. So you're going out and booking jobs, right? Well, no, I'm not independent anymore. Oh, okay. As I was saying, uh, I am now managed okay. by uh, Andres Haynes okay. from EMG. Uh, him and I have a great relationship. Nice. Uh, he known, he's known because he, has, he represents uh, people from the uh, WNBA. Uh, pro athletes uh, in the NFL. Wow. Also, um, he has represented uh, Nevada officials selected, celebrities, and also he does a show 
called the show the EMG show. So he's uh, you know he's so. Uh, He's got good well, connections, yes, and his well, connections are good for you, because if you're going to have a manager, you want somebody who's got those good connections, right? Absolutely. Someone who knows how to move and connect with the right people and mm -hmm. get to mm -hmm. know the right people mm -hmm. so I can, you know, get no. my end divorce to life. No, that's the business. And also, too, hopefully you're making some money that your manager is thinking in the, ahead, like, okay, now we're not just going to spend this money on trivial stuff. We're going to actually set aside a little bit. We're going to plan for this. We're going to plan for that. So that, you know, because you don't want to be one of those people who made a bunch of money in show business, and then years later you go, oh, I'm broke. Man, it was a good party, right? Mm -hmm. So that's cool. Um, now, before the interview, we were sharing, we were talking about being a beauty queen, mm -hmm. right, and the pageant work. Now, that is something you have trained for all your life, or you want it? to do your entire life, the pageant work? I actually always loved pageants. Since I was just a little girl and I had a TV, yeah. I seen them every year, sit down and, and you know, go in the front of the mirror <laughs> and pretend like I'm a, I'm a queen. And so I am very excited that I actually came to life. So this is a blessing in the sky. And I thank God uh, that they selected me to do mm. all these wonderful things uh, for the community. So just looking forward to great adventures with this company, this organization. Now tell me, why didn't you maybe do it before in life? Like, I mean, your whole life you wanted to do it. Was there something that kind of kept you from getting started with Yes, that? I always thought that I was not qualified to be a beauty queen because I was too short. <laughs> you know, a lot of girls say that. Let me, can I, may I? May yeah. I get in on Go that? Ahead. May I get a piece of that? Go okay, ahead. listen. A lot of girls say that they need to be a certain height to be a model, but that's only runway. Mm -hmm. And runway is not everything in modeling. As a matter of fact, if you look at the top selling models in the history of modeling, mm -hmm. okay, Pamela Anderson, Kim Kardashian, mm -hmm. Marilyn Monroe, are sure. all under five, six. That is true. So, when, you know, that's like that's one of those things they tell you to drive. They go, driving is a privilege. Make sure you have your hands on the wheel in this position. How often are you going to have your hands on the wheel in this position? Most people are going to be driving like this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> you don't really need to do that to drive. So it's kind of the same thing. Like to be a model, I mean, you have everything it takes to be a model, right? And and height, schmight, you know what I'm saying? But hey, that's me. Um, so when I watch models walk runway on television, most of them all tall and they're skinny. But... That's runway. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Like, uh, would you model on the runway if you had a chance? Would you be a runway model? I actually participated in the runway with where David Topaz was sponsoring the activity, and it was an amazing experience. That's he's big thing. time. Yes. They, yeah, he is serious about his fashion, by the way. And I never, I never even knew who he was yeah, until he's... after. And I feel so horrible because you should, you should go to the to the artist and be like. I love your work, you know, and <laughs> right. recognize the... <laughs> Unless you don't know his work, in which case exactly. you're like, oh. And I did not know, <laughs> and I feel so horrible because of that, because I should have known the fashion, because I, you know, designers and modeling and all those things go together, so. Sure. But anyway, hopefully I got the, the, the time to meet him again. Yeah. So, and then actually participate again in the wrong way. I think everyone, everyone that is physically qualifying for doing this kind of modeling should have the opportunity to do so. Not because you're tall or short. Like you say, it shouldn't mm -hmm. be a problem. Mm -hmm. It's just categorize people and put them in the same height and everybody looks good. Well, you know? So everybody should be given the opportunity to be a model. Yeah. Now the next obvious question then is about acting maybe. You know, do you see acting in your future? You're going to be in some Oh, movies? yes. Actually... Uh, it is also being one of my end divorce that I wanted to become a, you know, an actress. Okay. Uh huh. And uh, and I have to my attention, uh, Michael Michael Mahal came to my attention, which is the, the director mm -hmm. of the movie coming up, uh, the Party Bus to Hell. Because <laughs> nice. uh, yes. if you're going to hell, you better go on a party bus, dog. That is real talk right there. <laughs> wow. And actually, he came to me and he's like, you should audition 
for the movie. Uh-huh. I don't have the part. But okay. he was so sold to my pictures and my things on Facebook that he was like, I need to tell her something. And to me, that means a lot. That means that he is cashing my personality mm-hmm. through the things that I do on Facebook. So I am going to audition. The audition is going to be on the 21st and the 22nd. The location is still mm-hmm. working on, but follow me now, on Facebook is, and you'll know the details. Is Michael Mahal the same director that did the uh, high school, what's it called, last day of school? Movie shot here in Las Vegas? I, I know he's a very big independent director. Yeah, I think, I think that's the but same But I'm not guy. sure, I cannot tell you for sure if it was him. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. But he's a big deal, so I feel very honored. Now, let me ask you this. This is a little off the cuff, but this is what it is. Um, <clears throat> and you seem very eloquent. You speak very well. You carry yourself very well. It's one of the things I like about you. Did you learn to do this? Did you have to take a class? Or is this just part of... You, you get what I'm saying? Because not everyone is. You know, there's a lot of people who achieve fame, but they just don't know how to speak on camera. But you're very eloquent. Like, how did, it, how did you get this part of your personality? Well, um, I in, I speak Spanish fluently. It's my first language. In Spanish, I always try to you know communicate in a way with the people understand and I'm educated. Mm-hmm. So I always try to you know bring the best wordings that I can to people. Mm-hmm. English is the same thing. Uh, in the beginning, at 24, when I started actually speaking English. It was chaos because it was so broken and so horrible. <laughs> and people will make fun of me. It will be no doubt. They, especially guys. They will make fun of me. And you know why how, why guys make fun of people. <laughs> so, um, and I decided when someone makes fun of me, I don't take it as like, oh, it break my entire life. Sure. No, I take it as a challenge. Sure. You making fun of me because I'm doing this? No problem. I'm going to make sure that I am doing the best I can so I can succeed, that I can show you that I am not uh, illiterate, right, that, I, right. that I want to grow as a person. And also, because I was in the military, I used the 9-11 GI Bill, and I took two years of uh, college, mm-hmm. and I completed my associate's degree, and that also helped you, because I took speech class and English classes, and you know that you have to write essays and mm-hmm. you know, and so it actually helps you with the English. And the accent is what I'm trying to get rid of, but this is the don't best that of, I can. No, don't do that. Don't get rid of the <laughs> accent. What, the accent is so, so much personality. Thank don't you. get rid of the accent. You know, mm-hmm. that's, that, don't do that. Um, so the last question I have for you is, and I want you to think about this before you answer. So when you think about the success that you've had, because you've overcome some obstacles. We all mm-hmm. have obstacles. That's life. Mm-hmm. Um, as a matter of fact, it's not about avoiding obstacles as much as it is about overcoming obstacles, mm-hmm. right? Um, what would you say to someone who wanted to be in the position that you are today, uh, someone who's just getting started? What, would you, what advice would you give them or what would you say to look out for or look forward to? I say don't give up, no matter what. Life will bring you lemons, you make lemonades. And life beat you up, you get up and you say that you are going to make it. No matter what, it's it's always pollution and negativity around people. Oh, we always surround by those things. But it doesn't matter, that doesn't define you, that does not going to create your future. You create your future. You decide whether you want to succeed or not. You decide whether you want to stop or you want to pursue and no matter what it is in there is obstacle, you just keep moving forward. That's why I say keep moving forward. And so, okay, so this is a, I was going to be done, but I know someone's going to ask me this or they're going to email me. So, when you have that philosophy that you're going to keep moving forward and you're not going to stop, what if you have the wrong spouse? What if you have the wrong friends? What if you have a problem with drugs? What if you have a problem with drinking? A lot of people feel like they're a prisoner in their life and they can't break the mold. They can't just go ahead and move forward. And they're going to say, yeah, that's well and good. I hear what you're saying, but you're pretty. 
and you're smart and you you know it's easy for some pretty girl to tell me that it's she can be go go become a beauty queen but I can't become a beauty queen I need to lose 25 pounds and I can't seem to lose 25 pounds because I got these four kids mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying but when you tell me all those things we create so many excuses we could oh I'm busy with this I'm busy with this I'm busy with that if you want to become a, a beauty queen stop losing weight stop dedicating time if you work 18 hours a day it doesn't matter if you really want it you will find an hour out of your day to get to the gym or even work out in your home because nowadays you can hmm. you know so many workouts at home that you can do and they are effective because I have worked out at home also and I see results so it's no excuses we are our worst enemy so we are the ones who create obstacles most of the time hmm. so I feel that when something is standing in your way start looking for solutions so you get it out of your way and then you continue to move forward and that is what's up hey it's the ace michael show and if people want to contact you what do they need to do how do they find you on that www okay well now since i am managed by andrew haynes from emg you have to call him at 1-888-316-5-EMG or emgmv.com <laughs> and that is what's up hey man it's ace michael show listen live the life you love and love the life you live it's a dangerous world be safe as you travel and thank you for watching <laughs>